Hey guys, I've got a Pokemon battle for you today. Um, I'm using an Empoleon UEX and Terrakion deck with a Molga, and I'm facing off against a Darkrai Hydreigon Sableye variant. Um, this guy um, ran Ground Dung EX. A lot of people are mixed between whether they want to use Giratina because it can shred and get past those scissor lips, or using um, Shaman EX because that helps against the Terrakions. But this guy's gone for Ground Dung, which isn't really that stupid to think about it because the fighting um, will give you advantage against other Dark, um, other dark decks, so against um, Dark Rise and um, it's good against um, eels and rykos so um, not really a bad idea the downside is you can't really use blends because um, the dark blend doesn't have fighting in so you can use the prism energies which therefore means you can't use hydragon's dragon blast unless you run a psychic deck and sort of like muddy the water so it's kind of a uh, two sides to that coin and that argument whether it's worth having in there but um yeah i didn't think it was too bad uh, anyway, this matchup is going to be on play tcg.me, and the reason for that is even though the new um, client is up for the official Pokemon Online game, there's no trading, and um, you're getting people still using Heart Gold Soul Silver cards in the expert lobby, and a lot of people still fucking using the starter decks, which is an absolute pain. Um, because there's no trading, I haven't really got uh, that many decks I want to play. I've got a Raikou Eels deck, I'm so bored of playing with Eels. Um, I have got this deck on there, but I'm missing an Empoleon. I haven't got any new EXs, so I guess I really haven't got the deck. Um, and also, other sort of technical things, I have to record the Frabs, because there's not a Mac client for it yet. And um, to uh, edit it, I have to convert the files to um, MOV files for iMovie to understand, because iMovie is a fucking bull egg. Uh, I can't find a decent um, free converter um, that doesn't watermark the videos so if you guys know of one please let me know that would be brilliant because I've done about seven back opening videos um, but I just need to obviously get them converted so I can rate them and get them online anyway this um that's enough bullshit talk so let's um, let's get into this match right then so we're gonna get the um the boring setup sword draw our opening hands and look at that I've got myself three fifth clubs which is pretty cool and uh, an Empoleon, but it's a dead hand, no trainers in there. Um, we both say heads or tails, he calls heads, I call tails, I do the roll and I get the tails, so that means I'm going to be going first. And he's got himself the two Dinos, um, which is a pretty good start for himself. So I'll get my prizes down before I forget, <laughs> and we'll get the game started. And we draw into a fighting entity, so still um, got a dead hand there, we can't really do much. So we'll do a Fury attack, and let's see how angry this pick up is. He's pretty angry, we get three heads, so that's uh, 30 damage off the bat straight away, so that's um, a good start, but like I say, we are hoping, I'm praying to God that he'll end me out of this hand, or I draw into a supporter. Um, he drops down the uh, Dark Energy, and he's going to go for the Deep Growl, so Drip's point of heads are now paralysed, which he gets the heads, so he's paralysed by Pip-Up, so no more Fury, and look at that, we rip ourselves into a rare candy, so that is stacking up the highest caliber. We'll get that um, Empoleon evolved and that will alleviate the special condition. And we're going to dive and draw and get ourselves some more cards because, you know, it's a dead hand. And it's okay, we got ourselves a Primplops, we'll evolve that dude, and also we'll whack down out this level ball. And, you know, we'll see if the other one's prize nice, so we'll look what we've got going on. Um, yeah, so we'll just uh, we'll evolve that guy. Um, I run quite a high prod count in this deck because that way I can just dive and draw all my energies and I, I get them out of the way and then just pull them back when I need, so, need to. So we're going to knock out his Dino and really start putting some pressure on early game. Um, he's got to be pretty, pretty worried, to be honest. So he gets himself the Red Candy into his High Dragon, so the, uh, the worry will be a bit alleviated. It's going to take a little bit more time for me to knock him out. He attaches a Prism. He's then going to do himself an Ultra Ball, getting rid of a uh, Catcher and an Eevee Light to get himself a Dark Ride. So, you know, he's, uh, he's completely emptied his hand out now and he's going to retreat into that Dark Ride because that's got higher HP and he knows he's going to you know, max potion it if need be. So, we're going to draw into an Amolga. So, again, you know, we've still got a bit of a, bit of a dead hand, but at least we can get ourselves um, our second Empire Evolved. And now we can really start using that Dark Ride. I don't need Amolgas now, so we'll get rid of him. And we draw into two cards and we've got ourselves an end but you know what i don't want to play this end i don't want to give my opponent a hand i like the fact that he has nothing i can attack i can start poking and doing damage so you know i don't really need to and i think we should get rid of we'll get rid of the tools crap there's no tools available i do run enough on it if you need it get some other two cards and we've got the juniper so um but you know i'm thinking do i try juniper this turn i mean i've got a catch that i may want i'm gonna get rid of one of my super rods so 
you know, Super Island, get back that energy. So it looks like I have decided that, you know what, I'm going to go for the Juniper and see what I can pull. Um, deck building is always a good thing. You know, it's give, you run a consistent, consistent build, which I tend to do now. A lot of people tend to run consistent numbers. You don't mind if you, don't, if you discard one because, you know, you can rip into some more cards that you need and help from that deck to get the stuff you need. So we're going to bang down the um, the Mimi X just so we can really uh, make advantage of attack command and stick the water energy onto him as well. Um, so he can attack at on command. So we're going to put six damage count on his Dark Cry and maintain that pressure. Uh, and there you go. I'm, well, I ripped myself the rare candy. He's ripped himself a first Juniper. So he's got himself out of that sticky situation and got himself a new hand and put down another blend energy. When I saw these two blends of these prisms, when I saw he's running prisms, I thought, is he running blends as well? And I was really thinking, God, I wish I wish I was running hammers um, and aren't hammers because it really messes day up. I'm going to put down the Terrakion and attach energy, and I'm going to um, end away in my hand to see what else we get. Putting down Terrakion is always, you know, risky because it's instantly a catcher target. Just you've got the high retreat across the four, and, you know, you're not going to be doing any serious damage until you've got three um, energies on him, so it takes a little bit of time to set up. Um, I was really hoping to get the EXP share, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about having him down on the bench. Um, but you know, opponents always target him for that catcher still, pull him forward and then that way gives him a chance to set up. So um, he's going to play himself an Evelite onto that Dark Rider to try and protect it in some way. Um, and then he's going to, uh, he's playing himself a Sharon and he's got himself third, um, his third Prism Energy. So he's now going to be um, starting to do some damage, but he's just going to lay down another card onto his uh, onto his um, bench. And he's decided, you know, he knows that's going to get knocked down next turn, not that energy's going to go to waste, obviously he thinks it's going to pull it off. But he's hoping, hoping I'm thinking, I'm thinking basically that he's going to try and stall and hope he's going to draw into that max potion so completely negate all my damage that I've been, I've been doing. So here we go, we got ourselves the EXP share. Now I'm thinking I've got a second energy onto um, Terrakion, so I'm feeling quite happy that I will, you know, if an Empire is locked out or whatever, I'm going to be able to get the land crush quite easily. So we're going to dive and draw away an energy. I really want to get into that catcher. So we draw into two. No, we don't get into the catcher. But we have got another dive and draw we can do again. So. We call for a second diving draw and get rid of the water energy. And we pull another two, but we whiff on the catcher. So we did have three, but we do get ourselves the end. So we put those cards back and hope that in this five we get a catcher. And then once again we whiff on the catcher. No catcher. So that's um that's pretty frustrating. Um but you know that's just the way the cards go. Uh, I got lucky with the uh, rare candy, but this time wasn't going to be my uh, my day. So I thought, you know, let's get let's, let's see what we've got in the deck. Let's see. And I can see, look, I've still got one, two, three Pokemon catches. So there is a good chance of me getting them. So I'm going to pull out an Empoleon and hope that if I can get this another, if I can get another diving draw, hopefully this time I can get that catcher. And look, we don't get it. So still no catcher. And I'm like, mm, should I super odd? Mm, no, nah, I'm not going to super odd this turn. And we're going to just stick 80 damage onto his Hydreigon. So we're really applying that pressure. We're getting a decent amount of damage on his board. Uh, we've not taken none back ourselves. So yeah, things are looking pretty good. Um, he really needs to start finding those max potions or start to do something because I've really got a decent setup going on now. And there's a big deficit from the catch-up. I mean, may be one prize in lead, but you know, this is, he really needs to start putting things back. So he's going to put that as well as down, and that's when I then saw he's got a ground done. And he drops it down, his attaches an evil eye onto it. So there we can see it's attacks, Tromp and Giant Claw, 20 and 10 to um, all bench pick one, and 18. And there's two damage counter does more. So he's then going to catch a four with my Terrakion, and he's going to play an egg. So while I'm sorting that out and sorting out my hand, he's going to attach a darkness energy onto his ground done and then switch one of his energies using Hydreigon's ability onto Ground Dung and put the other one onto Hydreigon and then use the free retreat which Terrakion grants, not Terrakion, which um, Darkrai grants to stick out the Ground Dung. And he's going to Tromp, so that's going to do 20 damage to my active and 10 to my bench. But I, as you see in a moment, I'll accidentally put two damage counters on my bench, but because I was playing against, you know, a fair person, he, uh, he corrected me, so... Stupid mistake on my heart, but you know, at least he was honest um, about this. So as you can see, we're putting another Pokemon forward. He's really trying to um, get the stall, but there we go. Of all those times I try to drop, dive and draw into a catcher, I finally just draw into one. So I'm going to put this, the final energy I need on Terrakion onto Land Crush, and I'm going to catch you for his Dark Rai. Knocking that guy out and also getting rid of one of his Prism energies. So that means he's got one less energy that he can manipulate and obviously help his uh, Pokemon um, doing what sort of uh, 
energy he requires for that. So I'll take two prizes and go three prizes in the lead. So again, feeling very confident. He's gonna play another Hydreigon and then attach another Dark Energy onto his Bench Hydreigon and then play himself Juniper to get himself a new hand and lay down a second Dark Rite, which I thought was very risky because though he's now gonna Tromp again, put four damage counters on my active and two on my bench, um, my deck only now has 17 cards in my deck, so I have, now I've got another two, um, two catchers in there. So there's a very high percentage that I will be able to rip into another catcher. So first of all, we're going to lay down the Piplup and um, basically boost up our, our um, attack that we can get damage we can get from attack command. We're going to play the, um, the Tool Scrapper to get rid of... Um, his tool and then I don't really need these guys so I'm going to Juniper away and therefore draw another seven cards and really sort of like empty my deck out but I whiff on the catcher so but I have got three diving draws available to me so we're just going to see they're definitely in the discard what we've got going on and here I make a little bit of a mistake I'm like oh I've got three energies in there we will um, super rot them but then I'm like whoa 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 I don't want to put more stuff into my deck and therefore Increase, decreasing the chance of drawing into this catcher. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to take that back. I will be doing that, but first of all, I'm going to dive and draw. So, the dive and draw, and obviously, if this is not a tournament play, if this is a tournament play, I say this all the time, if this was a tournament play, he has all right to refuse that. Because it's just kind of casual play, it's fine. So we, we get rid of the Mui X, we don't need it, and we got ourselves a switch and an Ultra Ball. This time I get rid of a Fighting Energy, and there it is, there is the catcher. So now we will be able to play that um, catcher and catcher forward his dark right and we're going to get ourselves another two prizes and we might as well play super up before we actually do the attack and pull out those three energies that we're going to need to put them back into our deck. And then we'll land crush and we're going to knock out his other, his, um, is this the second dark right? With the second dark right he gets all the another two prizes. So I was really surprised, you know, that he'd only seen two catchers that he would t run that risk of sticking that other dark right down and not bolstering up his um, his uh, ground dung and um, doing some serious damage to my Terrakion. So anyway, he's going to now uh, play a third um, <laughs> Dark Ride down. So he's obviously not learned his lesson, but he knows all I've got to do is just take the one prize. So next turn really should be my game. Um, he's just going to be anchor um, and get himself out of Sableye. So again, he's just charging up my, um, my attack command. And he's going to go into his dark right because he knows at least he's going to be able to knock out my Terrakion. By doing his Night Spear, he's going to also be able to allocate number 30 damage to anywhere on my bench. And he's probably going to pick out my Mewi X because he's got low HP and that can yield him two prizes if he can take it out. So and that's going to be the, the, um, the obvious target. So we're going to put forward our um, Empoleon. Um, and all we need to do is get ourselves a catcher and we can win the game. And there we go, straight away off the bat, we rip ourselves a catcher. So we could catch it for his ground dung, it's got times two weakness to water, um, or we can even pick his sable eye, or pick the damage high dragon. So whatever I choose, I'm going to, uh, I've got three targets um, to get the win. Um, and obviously I had three diving draws to definitely make sure I got that card. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm really surprised he laid down the second dark ride, but that's the way uh, the game goes. So thanks so much for watching the video guys, uh, here's a couple of little screenshots of um, a few videos I've got up, um, a Pokemon pack opening um, when the uh, Play TCG, sorry the official Pokemon um, um, client went online, and my last Call of Duty video of me just trawling Predator missiles, uh, not really playing much Call of Duty recently, I'm playing a fuckload of Monster Hunter, so maybe I'll get some videos of that up at some point, but anyway yeah, cheers guys, uh, leave comments if you find a good video editing software, sorry uh, video converting software, and I'll catch you later, bye!